Hey there guys, it's Abit and welcome to DevDreamer. So in this lesson then, we're taking a look at default browser styles. So depending on what browser you use, for example here we're using Google Chrome, the browser will actually have default styles that it sets aside for specific elements. So for example, on our screen here we have a paragraph element, we have an anchor tag, and we have an unordered list with Google, Yahoo and Bing as the list items. But if we take a look at our screen, we can see that there's no difference between any of these texts. The paragraph text looks just like the anchor text and the same for our list items. And the reason they look like this is because I've actually put some default styles in our style sheet. So over here, under the all selector, I've actually included these styles here. So text decoration none, color of black, and we'll take a look at colors in more detail a bit later on in this series, list style type of none, padding, zero pixels, cursor default. Again, if you don't know what any of these mean, we'll look at them in more detail a bit later on. But essentially, these are the styles that Google Chrome sets aside for our elements. So if we were to get rid of this, take a look at what happens to our elements on our screen. You can see now, they start looking like more what they should be. For example, our list now has these bullet points next to the list items, and it's also been indented slightly in. Also, our anchor link now actually looks like a link. The color is blue and it has an underline. Now the reason why browsers have default styles is to make sure that the user is able to differentiate between certain elements. So if somebody created a website using just HTML and applied no styling, the user would still be able to see visually where the list item was and where the links were. Now when we start looking at things like the box model and padding and margin, you'll see that knowing what the default browser styles are will really help you when creating websites. Now as we start looking at CSS in more detail throughout this tutorial series, where we look at things like padding and margin, you'll see that it's sometimes useful to have some reset styles. Reset styles basically reset any of the default browser styles that we don't want to be initially applied to our elements, but rather we want to style them ourselves. Don't worry too much at this stage if that doesn't really make any sense. We'll go over it in more detail a bit later on. But for now, just understand that no matter what browser you're using, there'll be some default browser styles going on in the background that you wouldn't have added in your style sheet, but they're being applied because of the browser. Okay guys, so I hope that was useful. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.